Okay. Uh, as I said, my topic is about sixth uh, sense. Actually, I have found some um, information through uh, internet. Aristotle, uh, who is noted for philosopher and also has had uh, a great influence on war, uh, uh, on Western people, was the first suggest that uh, where five sense. Um, in our body, in human body, and also this, you know, something. Uh, uh, I mean, this idea is something that almost all still believe. Uh, when we talk about human sense, we think of uh, five senses: eyesight, hearing, smell, and taste, and, and taste, and also touch. Um, as a matter of fact. Humans have more than five senses. We have uh, various senses, which 21 uh, of those senses um, have um, been known so far. On the other hand, I have found uh, I have found another uh, information uh, through the net uh, from. Um, uh, from actually uh, neuroscientists' um, point of view, they are uh, believe that human are a bundle of senses, are a package of senses, and many of them uh, argue that we uh, we have between 21 and uh, uh, 21 to 233 different senses due to be, being um, un, unknown of other senses, anything relates to extra sense which uh, we percept, we, uh, yeah, we, which we percept, we call the sixth sense or, um, or extrasensory perceptions or also, I'm not sure, but maybe uh, we can, you know, say they are the same. Uh, tele um, petty. Uh, fortunately, yeah, we could, and also we are able to know what are the sixth sense um, about now. Um, here, actually, I have some uh, information which I have found uh, related to um, human sense. Uh, some, some of, actually, there are some of our lesser known ones, uh, which not widely known uh, as uh, those five senses, uh, who we are and why we come for, and also where uh, we are going to. And this is, um, these are questions. These questions actually uh, are um, humans question. Uh, maybe they, uh, you know, they introduce and they present these questions differently. Uh, but is but actually this sense uh, we have, we all have this sense um, in our brain, in our body. And other uh, sense, for example, it uh, calls uh, equally. Um, brioception, a sense of balance. And then another, for example, we have uh, uh, proprioception and knowing which, uh, yeah, this is exactly the, 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 um, the sense we can know which part of our body uh, are where without looking. Or for example, uh, when you are talking about a map or south, east or you know any direction which you don't look the map you know you just uh, talk about those direction you can recognize uh, where it, where are they another we have um and can um canis tasia i'm not sure about the pronunciation but i think this is canis tasia sense of movement and then we have um, thermoception, thermoception being able to sense the temperature around us. For example, we know weather, 
uh, our environment is too cold or too hot. I think <laughs> frog doesn't have uh, this sense because during cooking it's not able to um, feel the temperature is going to increase. Uh, okay, another um, which I have found uh, is related to ability of feel pain. Uh, it calls uh, nociception. And then, uh, uh, on the other hand, actually, uh, no, uh, another actually sense we have chronoception, how we sense the passing of time. I think this is, uh, uh, to some extent, uh, relates to when uh, human can travel uh, to past and also um, future. Uh, okay. Um, uh, besides, uh, besides of actually the besides these senses, uh, uh, we have multi, multi sense, multi sensory uh, perception. Multi sensory perception, uh, it is uh, something that you combine. It is not you, you know. The sense actually combine to each other. Um, one sense work together. Uh, I mean, our sense, uh, one sense work to another sense together, something like this. Uh, for example, you can imagine uh, we hold a cup of tea. Our eyes uh, can um, scan the, the tea. And then because we hold a cup of tea, our brain um, can uh, actually receive uh, further information. Uh, information <coughs> can uh, actually recognize uh, more information. Uh, so here, we as a human can realize, okay, this cup uh, consider as a three-dimension object. Uh, so here we uh, can say two sense um, combined together, eyesight and also touch, you know, work together to give us uh, the full picture. Uh, um, besides, uh, I would like to say uh, we shouldn't we shouldn't uh, feel feather in our cap. These senses may not, you know, may not bring us some advantages than other creature to feel that a feather in our caps. Um, by this, I mean um, we don't have lots of, you know, uh, senses which uh, other creature have, uh, such as electroception or. Um, magnetoception or um, polarized light or something, you know, some others which those in, uh, insects, birds um, or animals have but we don't have. Um, eventually, my point of view is to, uh, we shouldn't, you know, talk um, I, uh, yeah, um, about anything at face value, uh, there might be um, a hidden meaning which we aren't aware um, related to lots of senses uh, which we have or we don't have. Okay, done. <clears throat> Congratulations, you have improved a lot uh, in comparison to the previous times. Actually, I, I feel that uh, you have um, made so much Im improvements. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, okay, here are my notes. First, you said influence. It's influence. You know, you need to practice and consider the value or significance of stress in English. Each word has a stress, and you need to obey the rules. And yeah, influence. And uh, you said five senses, and also throughout your lecture, you use that senses. Mm -hmm. 
the plural form of sense is senses okay <coughs> you said uh, argue but it is argue again the stress pattern you need to work on that argue okay yeah and uh, i told you you have improved a lot this was actually another note of mine you said uh no noun or something but it is known k-n-o-w-n known the past participle form of the verb no so it's it's uh, not uh, noun. No. no no new known no new known Known. known yes um, and uh, you said some people percept percept is not a verb the verb is perceive you see perceive and do you know anything about intuition intuition yes it is related to the sixth sense I N T U I T I O N. Yeah, I forgot this the meaning of this word. Yeah, it means when you know something but you don't know why or how you know that. This is called intuition. You have an okay. inner knowledge. Let's say uh, for example you have also we have premonition. Premonition is something else. Let me write it down if you like to learn these words. Also, we have déjà vu. Of course, it is different, but not the same. Premonition, for example, you are worried about something happening in future, uh, and almost you are sure that it will happen to you, uh, something unpleasant, something dangerous, or not actually mm. welcoming. Uh, and you are so apprehensive or worried about that this is called premonition premonition you know it it, it is oriented oriented to the future not past okay mm -hmm. so let me again refer to my notes okay uh, you said lesser known a noun but you should say it's better to say uh, let's say insufficiently known or mm. inadequately known you see it's better much better and uh, also you said recognize the first syllable is stressed you said oh. something else and I think that word is kinesthesia. It means actually the knowledge or perception of movements. Uh huh. Yeah. It's kinesthesia. Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, let me see. You said ability of feel, but you should say, but you should say ability of feeling. After gerunds, you should use. After prepositions, you should use gerunds. Anyway, there was so much. There was so much valuable information, different types of perception. I I enjoyed it so much because I, I have a thirst for neurology, and actually I'm going to even review the uh, material pr presented by you later on. And uh, you said we as a human, we as humans, the plural plural form of human is humans unlike man whose plural form is men but we don't say human mm. see? and uh, let me see ah, you said uh, we should not feel a feather in our cap you should you should put it in this way that uh, this should not be considered a feather in our cap this should not be regarded as a feather in our cap. This is the correct way of putting it or saying it. It's not considered. Shouldn't Put it in a passive voice. Considered. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, another suggestion. You should work on the technical terms that you are not, uh, for example, very uh, familiar with. You should rehearse them very much, much more than this. Because I, f I noticed that you do not know how to pronounce some technical terms, for example, kinesthesia or something like this. You know, you, should, you are responsible for them in okay. your lecture. Yeah. Of course, I was trying uh, to find a pronunciation of this word, even I couldn't find through YouTube. That is the reason I just uh, guess. YouTube, okay. YouTube is not a good word or place. You should use it, you should search uh, for them on Wikipedia. Uh -huh. Wikipedia, okay. on Wikipedia, even actually there is a recorded uh, file and if you play that it will be played to you and you can listen to that with phonetic structures so YouTube is for video uh, sharing and watching but uh, what you're doing actually for presentation is more or less dependent on dependent on Wikipedia wikipedia.org <coughs> and uh, all right, another problem that you have and you should work on that is that you start your lecture energetic but the last part of your lecture is not energetic I mean you are not energetic it means that actually you are uh, you don't have enough energy anymore at the end of your presentation um, mm -hmm. got it? okay yeah so you start your lecture good in a, in, a, in a good way but you end it not in a very good way <laughs> okay okay so, <coughs> and you you need to uh, leave a good impression upon your audience by making a good ending because you forget i mean they forget how well you started it but they can easily remember how you ended it. Mm -hmm. So the ending, okay. the ending is even somehow, somehow more important than the beginning. Mm. Again, actually, at the end of your presentation, you made again more pauses. You were not confident. You were not energetic. I want you to be perfect. Okay, sure. Well, that's it. Thank you.